Hello everyone, if you don't know me already, I'm Tara, the dance doctor, welcome to my channel. In today's lesson, I have created a 64 count Kizomba fusion lady styling routine for you. I really like to use eight counts of eight at a time for these routines because then it will fit with um, either the chorus or the verse of your favorite Kizomba song um, so that you can <laughs> practice it and dance it with the song that you really love. So we're gonna have a lot of fun today. Before we get into it though, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the post notifications so you can see when I upload Load more stuff like this. Now let's get dancing. All right, so as always, I'm going to be teaching this routine in a cumulative fashion. So I'll teach part one, practice part one with music, teach part two, attach it to part one, dance parts one and two with music, and we will continue until we have the whole routine. I'm also going to be teaching each section, um, I'm going to be teaching 16 counts at a time, okay? So Let's get right into it. The first section of this routine looks like this. One, two, and three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay? So I'm doing a slow basic, but I'm adding some extra hip isolations onto it. So I'm going one, switch the hip two, um, and then I'm gonna go and three and four, okay? So on this hip switch, I'm not going to create the switch by straightening my knee. I'm going to just create it by dropping the hip down. So as you can see, both of my knees are bent. And what I like to do is actually bring the hip forward slightly when I bring the hip over so that I have somewhere to go on these um, back hip pulses. Because if I go here, then I've got nowhere to go on those hip pulses and it makes me look like I'm stuck. So I'm gonna go side, drop the hip and bring it slightly forward, back, neutral, back, neutral. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Side, drop, back, neutral, back, neutral. Those are our first eight counts. So I go one, two, and three, and four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Now, I'm gonna go forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, okay? So I'm doing infinito, which I'm assuming in English is called infinity. So I'm going to go forward, one, side two, and then I'm going to rotate to the corner on three without lifting either of my feet, okay? So I go forward, side, rotate, yeah? Forward, side, rotate. And I'm going to continue to switch my hips as I do that. So I go forward, side, rotate, forward, side, rotate, and then I'm going to go forward and back, okay? So a little rock forward and a little rock back, keeping my left foot as the anchor as I do that, seven and eight, because those steps are really fast, I'm not, I'm not going on to a bent knee and pressing. I'm just putting the foot down and putting the foot down, okay? So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, okay? Let's go from the very beginning. We go one, two, and three, and four, five, six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And again, one, two, and three, and four, five, six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
And one more time, and we'll try that much with music. We go. One, two, and three, and four, five, six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, let's try it. Section number one with music. part two of this routine. So we just did seven and eight. We're going to go one and two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. One and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? So I was here um, just doing seven and eight. I'm going to do another one one and two, and then I, after two, now I'm going to stay on my right foot. I'm going to do a lower body undulation. So I go one and two, three, four. Okay? If this is a movement that you have trouble with, I highly suggest you check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash dance doctor, as I do have many lessons talking about different types of hip isolations, and I have one lesson for um, undulations in particular, okay? Um, so we're here. One and two. Undulate. Three, four. We're going to take these undulations into our next two steps. So I do one and two, three, four, and five, and six, okay? One and two, three, four, and five, and six. Uh-huh. One more time. One and two. So my pelvis is back here. It comes forward. Three, four, and five, and six. Okay? So it is going back as, I, as my foot is in transition and forward as I bring my weight down. Back in transition, forward as I bring my weight down. Then from here, I'm just going to do three fast steps going back, very little hip action, seven and eight, okay? Actually, I'm going to say no hip action. This one is just about the rhythm in the feet, okay? So I go. One and two, three, four, and five, and six, seven, and eight. And again, one and two, three, four, and five, and six, seven, and eight. From here, I'm going to do a syncopated saida. One and two, three, four. I'm going to turn here, five. Bring the leg up six, bring the leg up seven, bring it down straight on eight, okay? So I do, say we finish the first eight counts, syncopated saida, which means I'm going back, side, cross in front, yeah? So one and two, walk three, walk four and five, six, seven, eight. Let's actually make that kind of like more rhythmic. So it's not just five, six, seven, eight. We're going to go turn five, gather six, up seven, down eight. So it's just a little bit more clear. Okay? So again, Saida, one and two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. One more time. One and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go from the beginning of this section. Okay, so we go one and two, three, four and five and six, seven and eight. One and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one more time and then we will do it from the top. So from the beginning of the first section, we go. One and two, three, four and five and six, seven and eight. One and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go from the very beginning. So we go one, two, and three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, and eight. One, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. I forgot to mention on these steps we can move slightly to the left as we do that. You could also use the left foot as an anchor and keep it right where it is or you could go step um, so you're gonna go forward side back forward so as you can see my left foot is staying on the same line I'm not moving it like doing a, a traditional grapevine. I'm still doing rock forward, rock back, but I'm moving slightly to the left as I do that. So that is an option um, that you can use, but you don't have to. All right, let's do it from the beginning again. One, two, and three, and four, five, six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and one, and two, three, four, six, seven, and eight, one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time, and we'll do it with music. One, two, and three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn five, six, seven, eight. I keep wanting to <laughs> bring my feet in too soon. Anyway, um, let's try those first two sections with music. part of this routine. My left foot is, is in front. It's straight and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Okay? So I just finished here, forward on my left. I'm going to go step, rotate, step, step, rotate, step. Okay? So very similar to the step we did in the beginning, but now we're not moving forward. We are just staying right in the same line. So I'm here and I'm going forward and then it ends back. Okay? So this is a forward rock ending back. Forward and forward, pivot and. Okay? So eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay? Again, one, two, three, four. Now, I'm lifting my left heel, five, twist, lift the right heel, six, seven, and eight. So I'm staying low, my torso isn't moving, my one side of my hip is lifting and it is the same side as the heel that is lifting. So it's almost as if the lifting of the heel is what's lifting that side of my hip, okay? And I'm staying low and the feet and the knees are twisting in a parallel fashion. So on every time I twist, my knees and feet are, are ending up in the same direction. I don't want us to be doing something like this. We want to make sure that when we twist, we are twisting both feet together at the same time, okay? So I ended up here, and I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now from here, I'm gonna kind of uh, not jump because <laughs> I don't want you to actually jump, but I want you to push off of your right foot to transfer your weight and start a hip circle going to the right. So we're here, boom, yeah, boom two, three, four. My foot is just hanging out on the ground, making a circle in the same direction and at the same speed as my hips. So it's as if my hips are responsible for what's happening in the foot. The leg is nice and relaxed, okay? So we just did eight. I end up on, on my right foot, I'm gonna push off. One two, three, four, little circle, seven and eight, okay? So I'm here, big circle, slow, slow, fast, fast, seven and eight, okay? One more time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I went a little too fast that time. I think it's and seven and eight. So there's a little um, kick back to go forward. I say it, I think it's as if I didn't make this routine up. <laughs> anyway, yeah, let's do and seven and eight. So we go from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and eight, okay? Let's go from the beginning of this section now. So we're here and we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Okay, again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. One more time and then we'll try it from the beginning. So we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, and seven, and eight. I seem to always be one, account, one count ahead. That's so irritating. Okay, here we go. Let's go from the beginning. I'm going to try and get it right this time. We go one, two, and three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And again, one, two, and three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, now let's try that much with music. part of this routine it looks like this one two three and four and five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight okay so I'm starting with huh, a little step from my ballroom experience which is called a heel turn because um, I just thought it would be fun to Put that into this since it is kizomba fusion <laughs> i can add a little something else here um, we're going to go back on an angle because we're starting to rotate back bring the feet together and the reason this is called a heel turn is because i'm turning the the weight is over the heel i'm not lifting my toes up but the weight is over, in this case, my right heel. And I am bringing my feet together and they're turning together, but my weight stays on my right while I am rotating, okay? So I'm gonna go one and two, okay? One and two. Now I'm gonna do a turning cha-cha, three and four and. Okay, let's just do that much. One and two, three and four and. And again, one, heel turn two, 
three and four and. Now, um, my goal is to get back to where I started. So you could do the heel turn with less rotation and rotate the cha-cha more, or you could do more rotation on the heel turn and less on the cha-cha. That is up to you, okay? So we did three and four and. I'm going to rotate one. So I'm rotating and I'm placing my right foot, um, the, the ball of my right foot crossed in front of my left. Then I'm gonna put this heel down and allow the left foot, which had the weight on it, to slip out from underneath me, okay? So I'm here, one, two, three, and then I'm gonna transfer my weight to that foot on four, okay? So this one's kind of a tricky footworky thing. So I'm going one, slip out two, it's rounding around. Then my knee's gonna turn out, which is going to rotate me back to my front, and then on four, I'm gonna transfer my weight to the left. So I go right, 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 left. I'm talking about which foot my weight is on, okay? So, ball of the right foot, the whole right foot, the whole right foot, the whole left foot, okay? So, step, slip out, turn, replace, yeah? Step, slip out, turn, replace. All right, so from the beginning of this section, I'm going one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight. Uh-huh, again, one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight. Mm-hmm, now from here, eight. I'm gonna put this foot down, one, three, five, six, side undulation, seven, eight. And then from there, I can start over from the beginning, and we will. So, I'm here, I'm gonna step, I'm doing a half circle to the right, or actually, yeah, we'll just say to the right. <laughs> half circle, half circle, fast, fast, now I'm gonna do an undulation moving up my right side, hit the top, and come back down, okay? So from the beginning of this section, I go one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, one, three, five, six, seven, eight, and we can start over. Okay, and again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, yeah? Let's try the whole thing now from the beginning. So we go one, two, and three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's go again. We go one, two, and three, four, five, six, and seven, Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five, 
six, seven and eight, one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight, one, two, three and four and five, six, seven, eight and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one more time. We go. One, two and three, four, five, six and seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's try the whole routine now with music. joining me for today's lesson. I hope that you enjoyed following it as much as I enjoyed teaching it. If you did love this lesson, don't hesitate to share it with a dancing friend. Also, if any of the body movements in this lesson were difficult for you, uh, do stay posted because I am coming out very soon, June 20th, with my body movement boot camp, which is a four-week course dedicated to helping you loosen up all the areas of your spine and be able to do isolations, undulations, and generally just have more fluid movement. We're using our arms, our shoulders, our rib cage, our hips, our head. I'm getting into all of it. You won't need more than 20 minutes a day. They are follow along lessons. Um, and it is just an awesome way that I have used with my in-person students to help them gain more flexibility and fluidity in their dancing. And so I thought, why not put this into a course so that I can help more people um, have that satisfaction in their dancing. So look out for that. It's coming out June 20th. If you're not already, join my mailing list. There's a link to that in the description box um, so that you can get updates about that. Also, if you're looking for dance shoes, I'm wearing, as always, my beautiful Yami dance shoes. That's Y-A-M-I. Um, if you're looking for dance shoes that are as comfortable as they are stylish, look no further. Yami has got you. They have a little pillow underneath the ball of your foot to make sure that you never have 
those really sore, awful feet ever again. So I absolutely love my Yami dance shoes. They have so many cute styles. And um, if you're interested, you can get a 10% discount on your purchase using my code DANCEDOC10 at checkout. So check that out. It's yamidanceshoes.com. That's Y-A-M-I danceshoes.com. And use my code DANCEDOC10 to get a 10% discount on your purchase. That's all for today. Until next time, keep dancing.